This is the Irma Stern Still Life with Flowers and Fruit, the most splendid example of her works. Most vibrant colours, oranges, reds and yellows against this very pretty green background. Um, one can almost sense the hot summer's day and the enthusiasm of the artist, typical of her style, thick application of paint. We are very fortunate to have this very highly sought after work. It's a great joy to have some works by one of South Africa's most loved artists, Eric Loebscher. He was the master of the landscape. He traveled extensively in Swartberg and the Overberg, and his landscapes are a veritable patchwork of light and color. But the work that stands out the most for me is this work from the 1950s. It was executed after he returned from Paris. And you can see it's very typical of the type of art that was emerging in the 1950s and 60s. This is a really splendid work and we hope it will do very well. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the Rodwell House collection. A Rodwell House is a boutique hotel in St. James, in the most beautiful setting against the mountain with spectacular views over the sea. When the property was sold, it was our privilege to be offered the collection for sale. It includes works by 11 of South Africa's top artists, including Jean Veltz, Eleanor Esmond White, Van Esch, Cecil Higgs, Cricker, Rose Innes. But perhaps the most interesting are these two early works by Pierre Neef from the 1920s, particularly this one, Mission Station, which was done in 1926 when the Pierre Neefs were on a sea voyage down the east coast of Africa stopping at the various ports en route. Pierre Neef had an opportunity to go ashore and paint, despite the intense heat. And here we have this lovely painting, a remote spot probably somewhere near Lorenzo Marx. Not much sign of life, save for the mission station and a few spindly palm trees. But have a look at these big, puffy white clouds, a foretaste of what the artist would develop in his later works and with which he is immediately identified. From the Rodwell House collection, we have some very fine Cape furniture. And I think the highlight is his West Coast cedar wooden stinkwood inlaid cupboard. Further notable furniture inlaid with yellow wooden stinkwood would be the Daristfikist from the Oatshorn area at 30 to 40,000. These examples are well sought after and are well documented in the Baretza and Oval Houses book.